are still a lot of leaves on my trees, and I'm already mowing up leaves and leaf blowing. Ah, I love autumn. Well, here we are with the leaf blower in the background. That would be my neighbor blowing leaves into my yard. Um, let's see if the wide angle works better. Yeah, okay, so that's where the oil filter is on this car. So it's kind of hard to get to, as you can see. And so what we've got is a swivel and an extension and a hope that maybe Maybe this will get up in there in such a way that we can, you know, take the filter off. I have a, a swivel because it's not a straight shot, as you can see get that thing on there all right I gotta be able to see so I don't know what you can see oh yeah okay, that worked all right so if I can do that we can do the rest cool now I gotta undo that now of course because I live in a house with other people my oil drain pans appears to have disappeared. So I'm gonna to have to use these that my son made when no doubt he noticed he had left it where he does most of his work on cars. Uh, unfortunately on my car, um, we have to take this engine cover off because if you try to just turn this thing, I'll show you. The whole like it's got this adapter on it, you know, that's a tension and the whole thing comes off. So there you go, gotta do that. 19, 19, 19 millimeter wrench. I tested it on the new drain plug because of course I bought a new oil drain plug. So we'll see if that's gonna be the right one for this. All right, under we go. You don't need to see the whole oil change, right? That's boring. what's supposed to be happening. All right, life is good. Now to get the oil filter off. The problem is, is it's gonna be filled with oil and it's therefore going to, as it's doing drippy, 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 drippy. So you know this, right? We lube the rubber O-ring and the old oil is fine. It doesn't have to be clean oil. And then we're just gonna put it on hand tight and I'm gonna put some oil in it first, which is kind of a pain because of the location, but that way it's you know got oil in it and we don't have to wait for the car to pump the oil into it. So I'm not gonna fill it all the way, but I'm gonna fill it a fair amount of the way. It's just difficult to get it up and in there, no matter what. All right, so to try to show you at least how difficult this is, this is the space that I have to get it up and throw it into, All right? So I gotta kinda wedge it in here as best I can, pushing things out of the way. And as you can see, it doesn't really wanna go, but that's how I just got it out. So, all right, oh, there we go. Okay, we're in, all right. And now I'm gonna need two hands, but I gotta get it up into here. All right, and now that it's past all that, I gotta get it up onto that. Now, quite frankly, if you've done jobs with your car where you have to do things by feel, this isn't this isn't the worst. <laughs> um, it's not it's not so bad. All right, so it could be a lot worse. So I've got oil on it, so now I'm just finishing it off. Again, I'm tightening it by hand, but I need to use this rag to at least get some gumption on it. All right. But I don't want to tighten it 
I want to tighten it tight enough that it doesn't leak, of course, right? You got to clean up some of this mess that's in here. Tight enough that it doesn't leak, but not so tight that um, when I go to take it off, it'll be impossible to get off. Now, I was very fortunate um, that that's pretty much what just happened. I, I, I did it by hand last time and it came off pretty easily. It's still spinning, so I gotta keep turning it. Oh, where'd my cloth go? I lost it already. Oh, right up. Thrilling video. Thrilling video for sure, for you, I'm sure. All right, so there you go. And you can see what it is. Gotta get this hand up in here and continue to spin it again. There we go. That should be good. All right. I think I got most of the drips that occurred cleaned off. You see any really heinous ones? That I don't see. That'd be great. Okay, I'm done here. All right. New drain plug old drain plug actually as you can see this one seems to be in good shape but you're always going to have to worry about this crush washer right and by getting a new one it was you know three dollars it's worth spending that to put a new one on okay. yes sure yeah that's fine yeah, all I have to do is um, just tighten up the uh, drain plug here and then put the oil back in. So I'm almost done with this little chore. Still hanging around. Still hanging around. Bye bye, Buggy. Bye bye, Leafy. All right, let's fill her up. Dare I attempt to do it one handed? Sure. All right, fill her up. It takes 4.8, so almost all of this. All right, so what are we down to? Can you tell? I can't tell. Looks like almost a quart, so we really need to get down to that 0.5 for sure. All right, that's all finished. Job is done. I just wanted to throw in a reminder. Um, this is Dawn dishwashing detergent and vinegar and some water. This is a wonderful thing to have in your garage. Just clean my hands with it. And as a preliminary clean, it's a wonderful thing to have. Oh, sorry about the dirt. Yep, I gotta go clean clean, but there you go. I really shot myself with a wide angle. How does that even look? I mean, it's kind of a GoPro look, I'd assume. All right, I gotta clean up, get inside, and it's time to eat. See ya. Oh, why is the light on? Okay, there it is. Uh, 130,478 miles is when I change the oil, letting the car warm up while I move the van so I can go to church. Heavy sigh, I think is perfectly worn it. I did in fact hit my head a little. Oh, wrong hand, wrong hand. such a pretty car, isn't it? Don't you think so? Yeah, I think so. All right, I gotta drive, see ya. We are 100% definitely not putting the top down this morning. <laughs> it is November, gosh, November 8th already, and it is chilly, willy cold. So you probably are interested in my thoughts on No Time to Die, right? The James Bond movie. In making the video, I realized I had not mentioned that Saturday night, my wife and my daughter and her boyfriend went to go see the James Bond movie, No Time to Die, and then played cards and had a good time, but you didn't know that, so that 
doesn't make any sense that I just said that. So on with talking about No Time to Die. The last for Daniel Craig. Uh, well, I mean, it was fine. I don't know why people are complaining. You know, I, I just don't know where they thought the story was going to go other than where it went. Um, you, you get close enough to the end, you figure out what the end's going to be. Um, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't get it. I don't get any complaint. I actually, uh, no time to die. They had the James Bond Twitter account posted on Twitter, uh, yesterday about the movie. And I was, I replied, I said, you know, can't wait. Going to see it this evening. And somebody took the time to reply to me saying, don't bother. People, people. Anyway, I enjoyed it. You know, I enjoyed it and I understand why they did what they did. Um, you know, it's great stunts, great cinematography, all that wonderful stuff. So, I know that car in front of me. It's the spices. They also have a red camera. <laughs> all right, church is done. Guess what? It is bright and sunny. Definitely. Definitely a top-down kind of day. So we're going to do it. Swap on the sunglasses and get rolling. See you. On with the rest of the day. Got two stops potentially to go. Pancakes as usual at the in-laws. And if I'm not too late because we also have a friend's child's birthday party to go to. Somebody who has been known to watch this channel. So we're heading off there as well. All right, see you, bye. I have to tell you, I've never tried to do the cinematic view uh, with the phone, with this camera. And uh, so it really does a nice job of the background blur. Um, kind of like portrait mode does when you're taking pictures. So if I can stay upright and stay in the sunshine, it's going to make for better um, shooting. But hmm, I didn't know it did that. That's kind of cool. All right. Ooh, big hole. All right. See ya. I just thought I'd share that a little bit with you that the cinematic mode works with the this facing camera as well, in addition to the normal front facing camera. Nice. Stopping. Full house, full driveway at Pancakes today. Um, all right, so now off, we're off to the birthday party. Hey, hey girls, off to the birthday party. Here we come. Ooh, gotta get the seatbelt on. Don't wanna be this unsafe. It's all twisted. Ah. It's back on cinematic. I didn't do that on purpose. Hey, you guys are gonna have to tell me how what you think about it. So in the comments, uh, tell me, do you prefer uh, for this, um, this kind of thing? Do you prefer the cinematic mode or this regular mode?